I'm here to talk about a rare and exciting item. I bought it from eBay for £250 and it was a fantastic bargain. So this is my £250 purchase from eBay. It's a walking stick top made of sterling silver. They were really popular in the 18th, 19th and early 20th century. They were a status symbol. They were bling. Look at me, I can afford it. The first thing I do when I look at a piece of silver is to look at the hallmark. Now I see a hallmark on the stem here. It's got the anchor for Birmingham. It's got the lion passant for sterling silver and it's got the letter G for 1906. Also, it has the maker's mark, J, C and S. Joseph Cook and Sons. This would have belonged to an Edwardian lady or gentleman. Look at the tall leather box. The quality is first class. Tall leather outside with a little velour interior and a silk top. Okay. Something like this would have cost a lot of money. This could have been a present for a birthday. A gift for someone arriving back from, from being, being at war. This was the ultimate item. The true beauty is when you take this out of the box. Hand engraving. The green stone. We see little dark veins running through it. This indicates to me straight away that this is Connemara marble. Now Connemara marble was sourced in very, very small quantities and is one of the rarest and most expensive marbles of the world. You can start to see now why I'm saying my 250 pounds investment is looking good. But we're not finished exploring this item yet. If we look more closely at this, there's a little lid. When it's opened, there's a pierced engraved grill. Now that indicates to me straight away that this item is a vinaigrette. You'd fill it with aromatic vinegar, very similar to perfume. Vinaigrettes were used in the days of bad sanitation. Chimneys were belching out smoke. There was horrible smells. You'd woof this up to your nose and it would take those bad smells away. Do you know what? I can still smell some of the aromatic vinegar. This piece hasn't been used for decades and I can still smell it. So when I bought this item, I found a piece of paper in the bottom. Let's open it and have a look. And it says the 21st November 1942. So right in the middle of the Second World War. Now, on the reverse, it states 30 dash. Now 30 dash is 30 shillings. So in 1942, this was bought for 30 shillings. Now 30 shillings is one pound 50. Today's money, it's the equivalent to 100 pounds. I purchased this from eBay for 250 pounds. If I was to sell this at auction today, it would make between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds. What an investment. I've earned serious money out of this. And I love it, but it's certainly not for sale. This is mine and I'm gonna keep it. 